The final in Lynchburg, 4-2 to two in favor of your Liberty Flames. Time to take a look now at our Carter Bank and Trust play of the game. And that's going to be brought to you by the sweet stick of Quinn Ryan, the guy we called the magic man last season. And he got the Flames going here with the second goal of the game. Yeah, driving wide with speed, just make sure he loads up. Shoots it so hard that it gets through the glove of Michael Co uh, Michael Kuvo. He knocks it down, but not able to get all of it, and it still ends up in the back of the net. Just a demonstration of Quinn Ryan's extensive skill. Really a great hockey player who's always obviously a key offensive contrib contributor and, for this team. And what you like about that shot, too, you see him coming down blocker side, pulls the puck in yes. to draw it more blocker side, but then shoots glove. Uh, just the and that's a just a bit. high Throws skill. Yeah, yeah, it does. Time to take a look now at our hardy star of the game, and that's going to be Cole Gamer. He actually had the first goal of the game, and slightly a controversial play, but he showed off some sweet hands there as he took it to the backhand. Yeah, and not just that goal. He was strong the rest of the afternoon, too, obviously cycling in deep and working hard and making, and making the little plays happen. And Cole is standing by with Monica McKenzie. All right, Cole, talk about the response from the team today coming off that loss that we saw last night. Yeah, uh, last night we had to forget about that one uh, right away. As soon as it hit uh, midnight, we put it behind us, and uh, we executed tonight, you know. We came out, we played good defense, and we had moments where we kind of lost, uh, lost our cool a bit, but um, overall we kind of kept it level, and uh, that's, I think that's what led to our win tonight. So. And you guys head to Rhode Island next weekend for another set of conference games. Talk about how far you've seen the team come in the past few weekends. Yeah, being a first-year guy, I mean, I think we've come a long way just from uh, the short time that I've been here. Um, I love every one of these guys, and I think a big part of our success this year has been uh, just how tight we are as a group. We love each other. We pray together. We do everything together, so I think that's the biggest thing. So, Congrats on the win. Thank you very much. Back to you guys, Rhett. Thank you, Monica. Good to hear Cole Gammer, Edmonton boy, talking about the tight-knit group they have there in the Flames locker room. And you can see it when you see these guys around campus always hanging out together, enjoying uh, just spending time away from the game together. Yeah, it's real cool. They're they're real close. You know, I actually remember talking to the you know uh, the uh, strength and conditioning coach the other day, and he was telling me that he would leave you know a twenty dollar bill on the floor in their locker room for an hour and a half, and expect you know every guy to go in and out and, and nobody to touch it because it's just a, a great group of guys who, who really do you know trust each other and, and are really just you know good quality guys. So good to see. Heading next week to Rhode Island. That's a team that is really on the rise, and the Flames will have a, a really significant road challenge, Jared. Yeah, and again, and just a long bus trip too. That's yeah. that's always tough to come out on a yes. game after that, sitting on the bus for that long. So they'll probably what come in the day before, hopefully, and get a chance to sh shake their legs out for for a day before they before they play their game. If I'm Liberty, I'm encouraged by this win because I think it showed a lot of character. They went in the third period, and they continued to play their game, and they finished strong. Something they failed to do last night. Well, thank you once again for joining us. We'll be back in two weeks as the Flames take on the Ohio Bobcats. For Jared Smith and Caleb Fitzpatrick, I'm Rhett McGibbon saying good day and God bless from the LaHaye Ice Center.